Are you guys waiting for some music? You're wondering what are the best songs out there this year? What can I listen to? Hold your horses, Sonny. I'm about to tell you the top 10 songs that you guys have to listen to or sh should have fucking heard of 2018. Something like that. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zach Waters and thank you very much for joining me on a brand new video. In today's video ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be giving you 10... Ten songs that you guys need to hear this year. Songs that have been released in 2018. Songs that I cannot skip whenever they come on. Some of the best songs that I have heard this year. So, you know, hopefully within this video you guys can find some new music, some new artists. Um, and hopefully just some new songs to add to your fucking little, your little journal. It says, Dear Diary, I want music to listen to. Zach, what a scary music to listen to. The end. Alright, so I guess really what I'm going to be doing is talking about each song individually, very briefly, because I don't have a lot to say. I mean, I can really just describe them all in one word, you know? Um, fantastic, orgasmic, incredible, heartwarming, heart-wrenching, life-inducing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the very first song I have for you is right here. This is Katie Ray by This Wildlife off of their latest album, Petaluma, which came out like two weeks ago. This song is beautiful in every part of existence that is possible. Um, really, it's. It's this wildlife, so it's fucking acoustic. It's got a little bit of um, little bit of um, fucking bass in it, um, some bass drums. His voice is fantastic. Jordan's voice is the greatest thing I've ever heard in the world, and mashed with that acoustic guitar is fantastic. The chorus in this is the most catchy thing I've ever heard. Um, just the way they talk about it, the way they sing about it, is fantastic. The melodies here are fantastic. Here we go. For every time I say fantastic, I'm going to smoke a C. <laughs> ah, I'm not joking. The second song I have for you guys is King's Harvest by Avatar. This is of their latest album, which came out whenever it came out. I don't know. Didn't do the research. Should have, but I didn't. Avatar Country came out earlier this year. This song is fantastic, it's super heavy. Um, it's probably the heaviest one on the album. Um, this is more of a, it's not as heavy as their previous work. It's definitely more of a, a hard rock, kind of melodic death metal kind of vibe. I don't know, but this one is definitely like the heaviest one in terms of vocals. Do you mind fucking off? This track has a brain melting solo, a guitar solo in this um, halfway through or whatever, and then it goes into this little dig -dun -dun, dig -dun -dun -dun, and then fucking Johannes, Johannes, however you say it, the the babe that is the front man, he does his little oh thing, and it just goes into a breakdown, and it's cool, it's fantastic. Um, all around this song is catchy, it has some great melodies, and this is definitely one that if you aren't a fan of Avatar, you've got to hear it. Hopefully it can persuade you to listen to some more of that stuff. The third track I have for you guys is Why or Yen by Don Broco off of Technology. This song is the best thing that's ever like evaporated into some particles and then been up my nose into my brain and then gone down into my heart really it's 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 quite different to the rest of the album um it's got a lot of i guess synth um in the backing or deep bass and the chorus in this is fantastic just the way that he sings the um I'm in need, 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 I'm in need. Get out of my life, okay? <laughs> and it really just separates itself from the album and it's one of the biggest standouts. And let's move on from that. And I stare at the sun, and it burns 
Track 4 is going to cause some controversy within my channel, as you can see by the picture here, um, Black Veil Brides. This is track 6, it is Dead Man Walking Overture 2, and it is the longest track here, coming in at just over 8.5 minutes, and this is an emotional roller coaster. It's underrated already as one of their best tracks. The chorus is, it can be a bit uh, repetitive at times. That's what my fiance says anyway. But really it's catchy as hell. The melodies here are wonderful. Just after the bridge, the way that it transitions into the chorus with those drums, pounds me so hard in the asshole that I won't be able to give birth to an alien for 600 years. That's how good it is. And I know that a whole lot of people possibly watching this have a preconcealed um, notion in their head that these guys are always going to be emo or cringy as fuck because of this video um, that they put up. I thought the exact same thing, sirs and ma'ams. Um, I thought the exact same thing, but decided to check out some more of the other stuff. This album is... could be one of their best to date. But if you're open-minded, you can explore new things. one I have for you guys is Attention Attention which is the title track to Shinedown's new album. Once again Ricardo Quinta, thank you for showing me this band. I went out and finally bought this fucking album. Um, I don't know where it is, it's over there somewhere, saying good day to everyone. Um, this album is a standout one, it's fantastic. It's it's much more like electronic based than synths and vocalist Brent kind of like raps in the verses and then they freaking dive bombs into this goddamn chorus where his vocals shine like no tomorrow. Like this light, like this light right here, it shines like that. You can have it. Track number six for you guys is Count Bassie by Dance Gavin Dance off of Artificial Selection which came out a week or two ago as well. Um, this one was the last single they released for the album and the way that the vocalist sings. When you're driving down the highway and you see a McDonald's and your parents know how much you want that and you're like mom 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 can I fucking get some McDonald's after tirelessly and effortlessly telling her that you want McDonald's for half an hour she finally decides to give in and says of course you can have McDonald's I feel like McDonald's as well you know that feeling you get as your child you know that feeling when someone says yes to McDonald's that's exactly how his, his voice makes me feel the, the melodies in the chorus here it says don't get so sentimental about it literally the whole part of this song is amazing the whole melody of it and the way he he works his voice around it. Shut up! Fuck, I'm trying to record! No! Fuck you! Jesus Christ, listen to this fan- Listen to the song. Track number seven for you guys is Dance Macabre by Ghost off of Prequel. This was my first introduction to the band Ghost. Like you got you got the synths, you got the drums, but it's like mastered in a way that it sounds I'm not gonna say it again. It sounds amazing. That's all I'm gonna say. Fuck man! Come up with a different word. The chorus here is unlike anything I've heard. And I think that explains a whole lot with this album. It's the way they deliver it, the vocals, the instruments and everything, even the backing vocals here, nothing compares to it. I've got a few more songs left for you guys. Number eight, we have From the Outside by Real Friends. This song is the most catchy thing I've heard all year. Um, it's more of the pop punk kind of side, and the chorus here is mesmerizing. Just the way he sings it, you know. I'll, I'll put clips up for each of these songs so that you guys can get a little preview of it for it, and hopefully, I'm going to show you guys the chorus at the beginning of this segment. Um, but holy fuck! Track 
number nine, we have More Like You from Trophy Eyes. This is a Newcastle pop punk slash hardcore band. Holds a special place in my heart. This is the band that allowed me to get up on stage and um, propose to my girlfriend. So I'm always going to love these guys no matter what. This song here, it took me like one or two listens to kind of get a feel for it. I kind of thought they were taking like the, south, the safe route the safe rap with their sound. The chorus here is amazing. Uh, after a few listens, the backing vocals really get it, kind of envisioning what the song is about. And the lyrics are quite fucking deep. And that's something that's really always been um, a strong point for this band. I guess that's really all I can say. The, I'll leave the rest up to you guys to have your own opinion. Obviously it's on this list, so it's grown on me a whole lot and I love it. Um, their album comes out next month on the 14th, I think. Um... Well, apologies to the people I love for the things I've done really make it right. I guess it might. Just then I realized my past is the reason I'm here right now. As a matter of fact, I won't apologize. You bitches always get to say it. If we say 10, we're gonna have 10 songs. Um, we're gonna have fucking Losing My Life by Falling in Reverse. Um, Ronnie Radke fucking rapping and screaming. The, the, the synths in the background are really well put together. And then that breakdown during the song. The first time I listened to it, didn't even listen to the song, but my breakdown cells in my brain, they they like got like activated when a breakdown happens, and then I just found myself going like this. So that was a good time. Hopefully you guys like this list. Um, once again, like I said, the links for all these tracks will be in the description. Go check them out. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section down below. That's gonna be all for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video.